Hey guys, it's Chris. From an octopus found on a mountain to a shark on a subway, here are 10 animals found in strange places. Number 10. Sea Lion in High School Sea lions are very clever creatures. They know how to communicate with one another, swim in expert ways, and avoid predators when necessary. But in April of 2015, one sea lion decided to go off book and then went to a place where it could go to learn about itself. No, not a library, a high school. This happened at Imperial Beach in San Diego, California. The school in question was Mar Vista High School, and it was the staff that called the police on the sea lion. Here's the catch, though. Mar Vista is very much inland in San Diego, as it is not near the local shoreline. So that begs the question, how did the sea lion get there? Being that it didn't have help, the sea lion went from the shore to the school on its own, which in distance was about five blocks. Here's another thing to ponder. Since it was the staff that called in the sea lion being at the high school, this begs the question, did no one else see the sea lion as it made its way through San Diego? If you're curious as to what happened, the police put the sea lion in their car and drove it back to the shoreline. There were also some very comedic comments about the event. While deputy sheriffs attempted to interview him for his activities, he clammed up and requested his lawyer, the release said. Number 9. Pacific to Atlantic to Arctic when it comes to animal migration patterns and where animals are mostly found, scientists have a pretty good idea of what to expect. However, in the last decade or so, animals have been showing up in regions where they've never been seen before, or at the very least haven't been seen in a very long time. A great example of this happened in 2010 in Israel, when a gray whale appeared off the coast. For those who don't know, not only is the gray whale not local to Israel, they're actually local to the North Atlantic Ocean, which means finding one so far south is highly irregular. Just as irregular are species from the Pacific or Atlantic Ocean suddenly appearing in the other oceans without warning or apparent cause. This has occurred recently with both birds and sea creatures like whales. So what is the cause for these new paths for these animals? What's going on? Well, scientists believe that climate change is the answer. The rising temperatures of the atmosphere and the water is melting the ice that actually resides within the water, allowing creatures such as whales to make it through areas that they originally had no access to. As for birds, it's very likely that they're just getting lost, although it does seem like they should know where they're going. The temperature changes could be throwing off their migration patterns too. Number 8. Octopus on a Mountain There are many things you expect to see when you're climbing a mountain. An octopus on a rock is not one of them. Yet that's exactly what happened to travelers as they went up Schofield Pike, which is one of the tallest mountains in all of England. What's more, the octopus wasn't at the base of the mountain, or even on the path per se. Rather, the octopus was found a mere 10 feet from the top of the mountain, which makes you wonder just how the creature got up there. The simplest answer is arguably the most logical. Given the height and the fact that the location is near a large pool of water, it's reasonable to think that a bird might have caught the creature and brought it up the mountain, or dropped it up there and then forgot about it. Granted, it is unclear whether that body of water has octopus in it, and even if it didn't, the bird could have come from England's coastline to the mountain. However, if it wasn't a bird or winged creature that brought the octopus up there, then many more questions need to be raised, especially since when you look at the octopus in question, it doesn't appear injured. And now for number 7, but first, have you ever found an animal in a strange place? Let me know your story in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe before you leave. Number 7. Owl in a Pipe there's not much context for this picture, however, the picture speaks rather loudly when you look at it. This is indeed an owl, and one that is hiding inside of a pipe. While it might seem odd that an animal would go into a pipe like this, especially a creature such as an owl, it's actually not that uncommon in the animal kingdom per se. You see, while in nature animals may have many avenues to hide in, in a city not so much, they need to seek out and find just about any crevice or hiding spot that will allow them the protection they need. Also, birds like owls are clever enough to see openings such as this pipe and realize that it's a perfect place to build a shelter. The fact that it looks weird via the perfectly sized hole for the perfectly sized owl just happens to be a funny coincidence. Number 6. Zebras in Texas 
When you think about Africa, you no doubt think about the diverse state of wildlife that are there, including the horse known as a zebra. If we're speaking technically, zebras are only naturally born in Africa. However, the United States has a section of the state of Texas where zebras actually live. It's not a zoo or even a wildlife preservation. Someone just brought zebras to Texas and they were allowed to live there. Turns out Texas resembles Africa in the ways that matter, and thus they were able to thrive in the new home on a new continent. This is actually very fascinating from a biological and ecological standpoint. For if this could happen to zebras, this could theoretically happen for other animals. The only downside here is intent. You see, these zebras weren't brought to Texas to live out their lives. Rather, they're part of a hunt. The zebras are part of a ranch, and if you pay a price, you can hunt the zebra in certain parts of the year. Number 5. Horse in McDonald's There are certain rules for restaurants, and one of the biggest rules is that you can't bring in certain animals or pets into the building even if you have permits to allow them. Well, for one woman in Whitefield, Greater Manchester in 2013, she decided to ignore the rule, but not without cause. You see, she was riding a horse and was hungry. Seeing a nearby McDonald's, she went to the drive-thru on her horse. Upon reaching the window to get her food, she was actually turned away, despite having money to pay for the food. Having to come inside now, she did so, but she brought her horse with her. As she tried to get her food this time, the horse went and relieved himself in the restaurant. The woman was fined for bringing the horse into the McDonald's. Number 4. Alligator on a Golf Course In Englewood, Florida, you will find the Mayaka Pines Golf Club. On the surface, it looks like any other golf club or course out there. But in March of 2015, a very big event happened. Mainly, an alligator of impressive size wandered onto the course while people were playing golf. The people who first saw the gator immediately took a picture of it. When they did, it was done at such an angle that it made the alligator, soon to be called Goliath, look much bigger than it actually was. You see, this particular alligator was only about 12 feet long. The record is around 15 for a gator. Crocs can get up to 23 feet. Still, it was pretty big thanks to the picture. This naturally got a lot of attention, and the golf club soon became famous for Goliath, who was not only not captured to be put back in the swamps of Florida, but actually allowed to reside on the course. He was spotted sometime after this photo on one of the fairways. Number 3. Shark on a Subway no, this is not a tale of a hammerhead shark or a mako or a great white shark somehow ending up on a subway and terrorizing the passengers like a bad sci-fi movie. Rather, this is a tale of a rather small shark somehow ending up on the floor of a subway cart in New York's N train. While this is a bit odd at first glance, the story soon got peeled back as the pictures of this subway shark started to spread around. This tale apparently begins with some kids who were swimming around Coney Island and found the shark. Thinking that they had something really cool, they went to a nearby amusement park where they then left the shark near a roller coaster. A man later came around, saw the shark, and then decided to take it home. He then went on the end train and had a revelation that holding a dead shark in his hands wasn't that good, so he left it on the floor. The story doesn't end there, though. Rather, the people on the subway then started to poke prod and then pose the shark for numerous photo ops. Number 2. Panthers in England When I say the words big cats, you know of what I speak. Lions, tigers, panthers, cheetahs, lynx, etc. You'd usually find most of these creatures in Africa or places like the Amazon or even Asia. Where you wouldn't expect to find them is England. For not only is it very far from Africa, you'd think that the landscape just wouldn't suit them. Yet every day there are reported sightings of big cats in the United Kingdom specifically panthers, as most of the spotted creatures appear large, cat-like, and black, which perfectly describes a panther. So how did panthers end up in England? Well, many have given thoughts on the subject, but the most likely explanation came from a law that was passed in 1976 called the Dangerous Wild Animals Act. Long story short, this law would cause heavy fines to any who had dangerous animals in their custody, such as big cats. So the animals were released into the wild and they've been spotted there ever since. Number 1. Dog on a Roof In Norfolk, England, there is a man named Mr. Houghton. Mr. Houghton works on roofs and has been doing so since 1995. 
He also has a dog named Axel, and Axel likes to be with his master so much that he'll actually go onto the roofs he's working on to be with him. So how does he get up on the roof? Well, simple. He climbs up the ladder that the man used to get up onto the roof. Axel apparently did this one day, much to the surprise of the workers and Mr. Hodden. He sits on the ridge and moves along as we're working. Wrong. We always have to bring him down after, though. He hasn't worked out how to get down the ladder yet. Axel has gotten quite a bit of fame because of his roof climbing ability. Not to mention, just seeing a dog laying on a roof like that must be quite a sight. Thanks for watching, guys. What was your favorite animal on this list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.